Hello, fellow branded. It is I, Clive. Sweaty Zeus. I, best bud, Torgal. And my best girl, Jill. Ready to continue on. I think I made a mistake in the last one. I said, uh, side quests with the exclamation point are the, uh uber important ones i think the ones that have a plus next to the exclamation are going to be the uber important ones now that i think about it uh i read something on it and i think i might have been wrong there's there's some of the plus too which i haven't encountered yet and i think they're the more important ones so uh i'm not seeing any yet And we don't have the ability to limit break yet. I was thinking about it. I was like, what am I doing? Why can't I limit break? We haven't unlocked it yet. And there was one other thing I was going to talk about. Okay, so we've already been mostly over there. This is the bridge over here. I think. Somewhere. So much for all parts of the Empire being. Ah, the slumbering chocobo. Welcome to the Brotherhood. You're free to come and go as you please, even to the north. Now the bridge is fixed. That was the item we got from Jill. Or was it Jill? Somebody. Martha so, the blight it's spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I was reading about pairing so too. A few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. And we should be able to parry um, attacks like right before they hit. It's pretty difficult from what I heard. Um, Rook's Gambit, I think, parries as well. It's more of a dodge, but it acts like a parry. Um, so I'm going to try to mess with those a little bit. Parried a few times uh, on accident earlier. It's um, apparently like time kind of slows down when you do it. So, a lot of times we'll probably be doing a combo and just do it by accident, but. Apparently you gotta hit like right, um, tip of your sword hit like right when their attack hits. And it's pretty tight window. Ooh, a turtle. A toidle. I like toidles. Are you... Yep. Ooh. 
that's gonna take some work. <laughs> I mean to do that. I guess Jill can heal you too. Excuse me. There we go.
my wounds, boy. Damn it. I gotta stop accidentally using my heels. I do that so much. I keep trying to heal from Torgal and using my heels like an idiot. <sighs> it's like the sixth or seventh time I've done it playing the game so far. Who's this? Another. Is this the same as the one back at the hideaway. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be working though. Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Curse my luck, I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait, that's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfrids, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. They've made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the green hey. bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. It was an I think. All right, where are the wolfies? Right there. Figure we're gonna cross them anyways. Might as well take them out. I'm gonna go pick up whatever was over here. Oh, another Minotaur. 
We'll wait for you after. Take care of the wolves. Some more of them? Sorry, buddy, gotta put y'all down. I don't know if I call it safe. <laughs> I guess as long as you stay on the path, maybe. But... Oh, is that him? You, Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single Bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't. You wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. <laughs> Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? Oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Man, yeah, everybody's a prick. To the bears. I think the bears would be like high class because they like have all the power. But, I mean, they can control magic, you know. But I guess if um, the uh, crystals weren't there, then Look, it'd probably be that way. That must be Eastfall. to kill you. I'm friendly. If I hadn't uh, upgraded my uh, weapon, this probably would have all been a lot harder. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. Over. 
Let's see what's back here. Fuck. Don't let them get away. Not this time. Come on. My wounds boy. Uh oh. Health is low. Oh, I can fall off. <laughs> Let's see, I haven't been that way yet. We need to heal. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You, 
You're Clive Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. He <laughs> he killed her. <laughs> when he turned into fire, he set him ablaze. Be not on purpose, but. The Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. <sighs> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. Can you restore my health while I'm at your house? And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy. Survived and. And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <sighs> Do you think you will stay here? In Eastpool. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Oh, his Annabella's mom. marriage to the Emperor of Sambrek. Oh no. A great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I I didn't mean to. Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. His mom's Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Yeah, I knew he died. I, I remember seeing his body like melt apart. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Your new clothes? Cool. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It 
was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. <laughs> when I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. They were at war anyway, that so... Day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony? When we looked up at the moon. I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. We should get some rest. Right. Clive, you done with it? God. Good night, Clive. <coughs> She's practically throwing herself at you, dude. Sleep well. Torx. Thank you. Oh, Maybe cool. Now. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. That's the outfit from you the... Look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. Cover art and all that. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Well, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them, and sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. I got a new sword. Father would have wanted. It's not the same sword we had. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while, but seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Invictus. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, there's a shop. Mm. Okay, let me unlock travel. So I poke around here, see if there's any. Yeah, there'd be a few somewhere. Let's 
so what's this new blade we got? Sixty three Invictus one sixty five. One of seven swords said to be forged in the flames of Mount Drustanus. Invictus has been passed down through generations by the Archduke's family and his closest shields. Archduke Elwin presented Invictus to Rodney Murdoch on the day he was promoted to Lord Commander of the Ducal Army. Okay. So it's an upgrade, slight upgrade, but it looks real cool. Medi and Cross, Medi is sometimes a Custrel. Sometimes called the Custrels, legend has it that the bright red star serves as the moon's attendant. Carrying her gear and equipping her armor in times of battle, this belt was part of a set owned by Archduke Elwin and kept in East Bowl for when he and his family would summer there. Etienne Bonds. Long standing Rosarian tradition for the Archduke to bestow a gift. A gift to scions of the Ducal line upon their coming of age. These bracers died with the Red Star of Medea, were, or Medea were what Elwin's father chose for him and formed part of a set of clothes in the East Pool for when he and his family would summer there. This is a summer set, huh? All, all, all black leather. <laughs> Bloodhawk Jess. What? Badge of Might. Attack by seven. Bloodhawk's Prey and a bird. One of the birds will be joining me. This is aerial combo damage by 8%. I use the Rising Flames the most, and I think I have it the most upgraded. I really want to get this. Mastery increases range. Mastery increases distance.
Interesting how you can uh, assign to different icons. The screw is some tornado. That's cool. For now, I want to do this and that. And then, uh, does I need it? Oh. Or once I get enough, I'll refund those, I guess. And Are they mastered? Yeah. I'm gonna leave those equipped now, though. Did she heal me at all? Or that visit heal me? I can't tell yet if my health's I thought the game would have spent a little more time with Young Clive. Like, it seemed like it was over pretty quick. Um, I was really interested in like learning more about Joshua and his father and his mother and all that. It was, um, I don't know, just from what I saw of the. Uh, material like of the pre-release of the game i thought we'd spend a little more time as young club which is okay if, friend. if we don't you know but i just was kind of shocked by it all right so these are all going to be downgrades now main thing i just want is potion yeah. refills there you go there you are Might as well get these. I got plenty of uh, money. I don't see using that anytime soon. Got anything else for me? Oh, well, you won't say no. Got anything else for me? They're pissing my pants. I'll be right back. All right. So what I was hearing from some of the reviewers too is I think some people really uh, come back soon now. Other reviews got ahead of themselves and like you know sometimes like a really long game you might put the review out before you actually finish it. Um, I heard a lot of the reviewers talking about all the quests. Side quests in the game kind of suck. They're real short and like just hand and soup out and blah blah blah. And then I heard another one and he was talking about there that way at the beginning. You, those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Then all of a sudden it's going to open up a little you later. You can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. 
I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the oh, Iron Blood sacked got a bunch of slaves. <laughs> back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Breck. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any. I keep forgetting about this. Yeah. Became Imperial Province. Oh, Sam Break is the Empire. Annabelle. Massage, once Duchess, and now Empress. Sadistic relish, yeah, it sounds like her. Crippling taxation and surveillance. Home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded we knew that wasn't an option so they've been here ever since and now you want to give them to me they're yours by right lord rosfield bequeathed you by your late father and they'd be better off serving you than hiding here indeed many of them used to serve your house and still consider the rosfields their masters I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Send them all to Sid. Dreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your... <laughs> as fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? We are, in a way. Well, then it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the 
the levees going up and up and up even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old Lou. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosaleth Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear them. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceregan stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick. The chocobo keeper might know where he is. He's... he'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick the chocobo keeper. I'm sorry, Jill. For... making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for... He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in East Pool before. <laughs> Tell him the whole story off screen. Thank you. It's not like how she put her hand and just cut. Ah, so that's how it is. Well then. If you're acting under orders of the mayor, he's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him, and that he needs to go back. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. Thank you. I we got him. I'm sure he got caught by a monster. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Oh, he's over in that area we already went. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? Yep. someone over there it might be him we should hurry don't jump company we can't lead them to the old man they need to die agreed <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
That sword's a big upgrade, it felt like. I know it was only a few points, I guess, but I don't know why it felt way stronger. Maybe it's because it looks so cool, I don't know. Come on. Let's go home. Your grace. You came for me. <laughs> I waited for you so long. But you finally came. Your grace. I'm not who you think. Clive. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning <laughs> to the castle then? It's Joe Biden. <laughs> So confused. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you wait for me in Eastpool until my journey is complete? I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. <laughs> Clive's a good dude. Poor old man. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half our worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even put it. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. I know a man named Sid. Who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one? Leave this with me. As soon as I return from. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? Regarding the future of the village and what might be done for Lady Hannah? Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord. My. See you in the next one.